and bass resonator here. See, there I am. When I first started in resin work, almost two years ago, um, I thought, you know, Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night would be kind of cool to uh, do with resin. Besides, it looks to me, being a non-art critic, looked at it and thought, man, it looks like a little kid painted it, you know, with all the weird little brush strokes and stuff. After studying it more and more, I realized there was a whole bunch of intention there, but I thought, well, let me try it. So I poured in some resin. I'm going to show you what I did. I've got a, a super thick um, hard drive magnet on it. Poured in some resin the color of the night, and then I put in uh, the little swirls. Let me do my finger. The little swirls for the star and the moon and stuff. And I drew the tree and the little homes and stuff, not knowing that resin moves. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Ah! Vincent Van Went. <laughs> now talk about a little kid. That's what that looks like. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Uh, just as a, as a refrigerator magnet of where I used to be. And then I thought, let me try it again. But this time, um, let me do it on a thicker format. It's about three and a half inches. It's a, it's a rectangle, three and a half inches by two and a half by an inch. And you can see I've got different things going on in there. So what I did was I laid down Get my finger right there. This blue for the for the night, and then I let that cure up, and I painted, and I got the the swirls and everything pretty close, and then I poured a layer of clear, and then I painted again, and I did that a couple of times, and I kept painting different layers, and it gives it a 3D look, and then towards the end, I put these little sparkles in there. You can see those, so. This is what I have now. Not exactly. I didn't have a really good brush, um, small enough or fine enough to be able to do it. I have got that glare right there. Let me see if I put it like this and go here. There we go. Um, and if you look at it from the side, you get this 3D illusion. It's really kind of cool. I think so it was a lot better than <laughs> that but then I thought you know good old Vincent cutting off his ear and everything didn't go far enough so I added more scenery still not far enough see that's supposed to be the, the moon on both sides of it and they actually go together. So then I had to add the farm. <laughs> and you got little animals in there and everything. <laughs> so <laughs> that's Vincent Van Went. This is Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gone Too Far. <laughs> I have done much better work since then. But, you know, when you're first starting out and you have really cool ideas and you think they should work, and they sort of do, not, do, and then you're like, hmm. But all of these have that 3D effect on there, so they're, it's really kind of cool, I think. You can let me know what you think. See, there's the whole scene. Yeah. And this, like I said, this moon's supposed to tie into this one right there. And this streak of stuff right here is supposed to tie into this one here. Yeah. And there's a red barn right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
long weekend. Yep. But yeah, these this is and I you know, I say that everything I make is for sale if you want it. I I would if somebody wanted these, I would really have a hard time letting go of them. But you know, if you pulled my leg hard enough, maybe I would. Which would mean I'd just have to go and do another one. But who knows? Might be better the next time. Anyway, uh, hello subscribers. Thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, you should be. You never know what in the world I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, just to let you know. Should I tell them? Should I not tell them? I have a bunch of computer chips that are obsolete, taken out of old hard, uh, old uh, laptops that died. And I thought, oh, I'll be able to use that memory module, be able to use that, be able to use the other things. Um, and then... It's almost cheaper now to buy a brand new laptop than it is to try and repair an old one. So I just have a whole bunch of those. So I'm thinking, thinking uh, about using those in a project. So see, there's another reason why if you're not a subscriber, you should be. And then click that little bell and uh, find out when I'm going to be back on. Coming back and maybe see some computer chips involved in some art okay i will see you on the other side later